Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. So today is September 6th, 2020, and I want to, want to talk to you about in today's episode is what can you use in place of lettuce? Because sometimes we run out of lettuce. Even though we grow it ourselves, we still run out. So um, a few things that you can use in place of lettuce is one, you can use your red beet leaves. And this is a Detroit dark red red beet here. And uh, you can cut some of the leaves off, which is what we've been doing for salads. We do have some lettuce coming. Um, it was raining and some of the weeds just decided to come up. So uh, this does need weeded, but you can see we have a little bit of lettuce here. Some is growing in the greenhouse. And uh, it's just not quite growing as fast as what we'd like it to. Uh, sometimes when it's really hot out, even though you show your seeds, certain varieties can take a while to uh, germinate for you. So, um, still working on the lettuce here. Slow bolt is a variety that um, I haven't had an issue germinating it, even in the warmth. But um, that wasn't the variety that uh, we had planted this time. Now, um, I know they say like for your lettuce to do what they call successive sowing about every two weeks, but um, sometimes what happens is, is even though you do that, the lettuce crop will all come in at one time. And then if it gets really hot, it wants to try and bolt on you depending on what variety you're growing. Now, um, slow bolt is a variety that it does take and tolerate the heat a whole lot better for us. It went the whole way through summer last year. Um, and when the bin is full of lettuce, getting you know the lettuce off and stuff and then it slowed down like all at once so um, you can do the success of sowing about every two weeks but sometimes from what I see they all catch up at the same time and they all try and bolt at the same time if, depending on the variety if it's really hot out so when you harvest your red beet leaves you don't want to take all of them off but uh, you can take a few of these off. What it's going to do is it's going to push the energy back into your red beet bulbs. And uh, you're going to get larger red beets. And you're going to have the benefits then of eating the tops as well. So another alternative to lettuce is bok choy. And uh, this is a bok choy here, and here's one over here. Now, uh, leaf hoppers, flea beetles, um, grasshoppers, they love to eat your bok choy. So um, if you have like a, an insect cover to put over it, go ahead and put that over it. You'll find cabbage worms on this too. It's just something that they love to go after. Um, this is, I believe it's pronounced Shoohoo Baby. I'll put the... Um, name on there and then uh, we also do a purple lady i have two uh, packs of those growing right now in the greenhouse that are waiting to be transplanted out so um, bok choy it does really great in like the spring and fall if you live in a milder climate where it doesn't get too hot we have had it go through uh, the summertime for us because we're gardening in pennsylvania in zone 5b this is a heavy producer of seeds and uh, the two varieties that I mentioned, they are heirlooms. So uh, we collect the seeds off of them and we just replant them. These planted themselves and wherever they fall, they're going to come up. So um, another uh, substitute for lettuce is cabbage. And uh, there's two different color cabbages. There's green and then there's like a purple or sort of like a reddish purple color. Uh, my favorite is the reddish purple color. You can take and harvest the heads off and cut it up just like um, you would like a head lettuce. Go ahead and you know, add your tomatoes, your onions, cucumbers, whatever you wish to put on your salad. And uh, that's another alternative to lettuce. It has a different texture to it than lettuce for sure. Um, different flavor, but if you don't have lettuce and you're looking for an alternative, uh, it's a great alternative for it. Um, you now, um, I do have videos on my channel for how we harvest 
our uh, cabbage. But one of the things that we do is we cut it up higher. And it puts these little cabbages then out on the side. And uh, these are really good. Um, it's kind of like when you cut them off. Uh, one size is um, good for like kind of per person or something depending on how large they are. Now if they get really large, you know, you cut them up. It just depends on how much you want there. And uh, these will get hard like your regular cabbage heads. You just kind of have to feel these in here to see if they're getting hard yet. This one's not ready yet. But um, I'll show you the uh, purple cabbage next. So we'll be right back. And uh, you can see the little purple ones here. These are coming back from one that was cut off. And there's another one. That's bigger. <laughs> over there. Those right there are uh, coming back here. Now, it is going to take these a little while to mature. Uh, they're probably going to be mature around Thanksgiving uh, regarding in Pennsylvania and Zone 5B. So, um, they did survive last year through the winter pretty much. Now, um, you want to keep the deer out of your garden because uh, they'll just devour your stuff completely down. So, uh, here's what um, a purple head of cabbage looks like. Now this is called a red acre cabbage here. This is my favorite variety to grow. Um, it's my favorite variety to eat. I like the uh, purple cabbage and the purple vegetables. So um, I'll be back in a few minutes to talk to you a little bit more. You can use like your broccoli leaves. Uh, they're also really good to uh, cut up and put in your salads or um, you know, if you wanted to use that in place of a lettuce, uh, spinach is another good thing. Now, um, Swiss chard, I've never grown Swiss chard. My best friend grows it. She loves it in her salads. Uh, you can use um, kale. That's good, too. Um, if it gets really hot out, uh, your kale is going to get, like, kind of hard and woody. So um, that's one thing you have to watch out for with your kale. So if you like my video, please like, comment, subscribe. Please don't forget to hit the little notification button. I'll tell you I put a new video on. You can also follow me on Twitter. I'll have a link down in the description for my Twitter account. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a nice day. Bye.